God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I am wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Guys, thank you for joining me for episode three of the All It Takes is One Move from God, Just One series. That is my brand from Jazzy Brand. It is trademarked. I came up with that in 2017 on my Instagram. It went viral, and the Holy Spirit just told me to do some different things with it over the, over the years including journals, product services, and now we are on a specific series catering to where this all came about. I want you to make sure you get caught up again and listen to the first two episodes. The first one was about hearing and knowing God's voice while you wait for him to do that one move, and we focus on the letter M. I also break down in each episode the acronym M-O-V-E. The first episode was the letter M and I talk about meditating. And then the, the anchor scripture was about hearing and knowing the last episode, which is episode two, that anchor scripture was, um, excuse me, that anchor was become what you believe. And that's out of Matthew nine twenty nine. And the acronym letter for the day was the letter O. And I break down biblically about observing. If you are an observer, if you look at things a certain way, Holy Spirit gave me a breakdown of that. So make sure you go back and listen to it. And again, guys, the, the episodes are no more than six or seven minutes. It's a very quick series. It might be under 30 minutes for the entire series um, for you to check it out. So with that being said, guys, today, today, we are talking about such a time as this, okay? And I know many of you have heard, have heard that many times. And if you are not familiar, that is out of the book of Esther, okay? And I just thought about something, guys. Make sure you like, you share, you subscribe, and you give this to whoever you think needs it if you feel like it will inspire them. And I have all it takes is one move from God, just one garb and all types of stuff, um, merchandise that you can buy. You can hit the link um, in my bio as well or in the comment section. So now that the housekeeping is out of the way, let's get into Esther 414, and it reads, for if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place, but you and your family's family will perish. And who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. If you're not familiar with this story, um, she was in a bit of a conundrum. She was in a bit, bit of a pickle, right, Esther? Because um, the short answer is she was in a position of power at that moment, and she needed one move from God, just one, Okay. And y'all, for some of you who are waiting on God to do a big move for you, it will require some other things. And sometimes when you are on a time crunch, you know, you got to get a certain amount of money or you're going to get shut down. Or if you don't meet that particular person and you can miss an opportunity, you know, if you don't come up with something by a deadline and you can miss it. And in those instances, y'all, we often need God to move. And that's when it's about where are you when it's such a time as this? All of these things are swirling around and you have this need and you know you need God to show up in a way that you feel that you cannot. And that is for such a time as this. Like, hey, God, for such a time as this, right now, I need you to move and show up for me. Now, I want you to go back and read the book of Esther. It's a very short book. I don't think it's as short as Ruth, but it's a, it's a, very, it's a very short book, okay? And one of the main things that Esther does that I live by, that, that she had her people do, they had to do a fast. We call it a, the Esther fast or an absolute fast. And it's basically three days, no food, no drink. And she did it and collectively the people did it. But here's the thing, God, uh, excuse me, here's the thing, guys. God gave her that one move because she did a series of other things that prepared her for him to move in a big, massive way. What is it for such a time as this right now in your particular situation that God keeps telling you to do that either you refuse to do or it don't look like what you want it to be? Are you trying to put it in a box it's, supposed, it's not supposed to be in? Or you're like, nah, I don't like that like that. I don't want that like that. No, Lord. And he's like, no, listen, this is the person who's going to cut the check for you, but you don't want to go over there because you don't like that they have on yellow because yellow is the color that you, you like the least. You see how silly that is? We, we put ourselves in these situations and we don't even give ourselves a chance for God to give us the one move because we're not taking care of the business beforehand. 
okay? So for some of you, you are waiting on that one move, but you have to acknowledge that, yo, for such a time as this, how do I need to posture myself? Because I'm in this particular situation. I have created this brand. I've started this movement. I've written this song. I've created this building. I've provided this service for such a time as this in this season. What is that going to look like for me so that I can see God show up? If that is you, your your mind frame not only should be in a space of, okay, this time is sensitive, what should I be doing? But now we get on the acronym. I told you we're doing M-O-V-E, and today is letter V. Letter V today is representing the word virtue, and we're going to step into 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5, and it says, For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge. Let me tell you what virtue is. I'm just going to give it to you by the definition. It says a good or useful quality of a thing. Um, Another definition would be behavior showing high moral standards. I really, I really like the way that this is, um, this is kind of adding up uh, to, to tap into the good or useful quality of a thing. And here's another one, a quality considered morally good or desirable in a person. So here's something I want you to think about. The word says right here, make every effort effort to supplement your faith faith with something of good quality, because that's what virtue is, and something of good quality with knowledge. While you are waiting on God to do that one move for you, hammer down on your virtue, the good qualities, the good things. Get into it, my baby. Get into it. Get into it. Dig deep into it. Because while you're waiting, while you're waiting, and, and y'all, if you know me, I love, love this statement from Bishop Bronner, serve while you wait. I have been on that over a decade, right? There's something else that I'm seeing that in addition to service, there's something about developing your virtue while you wait as well. That's why for this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge. So in that space, you should still be developing good qualities and good things about yourself and not just being frustrated because you're waiting for God to do this one big move and you're still not developing the best parts of yourself. That is pivotal as you prepare yourself to receive that one move from God because you guys know that one move from God, it takes a series of other little moves from God before you get to that one big one and it requires something of you. Just keep that in mind. So y'all, that was it. I thank you guys. Just remember that it is for such a time as this and you are required to work on your virtue at all times, whether you are waiting on God to do something for you or not. Always work on being of great virtue because it will just add value to your personhood personhood as a human. It's just going to make you better. Right. So thank you guys so much. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and to let somebody know if you think it's going to add some value to them. There's a link in my bio or the comments, and you can buy some All It Takes Is One Move From God merchandise from Jazzy Brand, which I would really appreciate. And that's it. So, guys, we have one more episode left, and that will be called Stand Still. Make sure you hit the playlist, and you can get the rest of the information and all of the other episodes that you may have missed. I am wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Mm. And remember. All it takes is one move from God, just one. Roll God hits.